Hi, I'm Alice, owner of Fabric Ninja, and today we're going to talk about the Infinity Tie Strap Tote Bag. This tote bag has two long straps, so you can tie it any length you want. You can make it a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag, you can make two loops to attach to your baby carrier or to your stroller. You can make these straps work any way that you want. And one thing that you can do that I just love that my customers told me about is you can make two slip knots so that you can adjust these on the fly. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. So I have these long straps. So you have one at the end here and you're going to go all the way to the other end. And then you're going to tie a knot around here. So I just did a nice loop like that. And then I go over here to the other side, wrap it around, pull it through. And now it's a double on top here and a knot on either side. So right now, this is a great shoulder bag, but I just pull here and I pull here, and now it's a messenger bag. And it means that I don't have to keep retying the straps all the time, which I don't actually mind, but this is really, really quick and easy. My kids like wearing my tote bags a lot, so if I have it tied like this, when my kid wants to wear my tote bag, I can just take those knots, and you just gotta wiggle a little bitty bit, there we go. Pull that one, and pull this one. Now it's the right size for my kid. And when they decide what they're carrying is too heavy, about three minutes later, it's ready for me again. The other thing I love about this tote bag is this large center panel. If there's a fabric that you just love, maybe you've been keeping it forever, looking for the right project, or you have a baby carrier that your kids aren't using anymore and you just love the fabric, go find the fabric from that baby carrier and put it in the center here. This is the fabric from Bubbles, the Kinder Pack carrier. And I just love Bubbles. So I made myself a bag using a carrier print that I absolutely love. My next bag, I think I'm going to use some old sari fabric. I really love different Indian designs. This is a perfect place for you to feature a fabric you love. The bag is actually also reversible. This bag has a canvas on the inside. But it's completely reversible, so you can put two different fabrics that you love, or maybe when you change your mood, you just flip it inside out. You see here I have a pocket on this side, and over here I have some open pockets. And although these are inside pockets when they're inside, there's no reason you can't have zipper pockets and open pockets on the outside. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you make yourself one of these infinity strap tote bags. I have them in three sizes. This is actually the medium size. It also comes in a large, which I like to call a mom bag. It's really big. The medium is good for anyone who doesn't want a huge bag or is petite. Also for teens, it ends up being kind of the scale of a mom bag. Next, I have a child-sized tote bag, which actually still works for adults. So it's a smaller bag for adults. You may want to lengthen the straps if you want to do crossbody on that, but it will still work as a shoulder bag. It works great for teens, and my three-year-olds can wear it cross-body, and it's a nice big bag that they can carry their library books in. And the last size I have is an 18-inch doll size that works for any doll, teddy bear, but my kids love it to carry around treasures in. So you know those rocks that they find everywhere they go? The little bag that they can put their rocks in and carry them, so I don't have them in my pockets.
Thank you for watching my video and I look forward to hearing from you. Remember, every Fabric Ninja pattern comes with support. Not only are you buying a pattern, you're buying me to help you through it. If you are new to sewing, you can do any of these patterns yourself. You can message me through our Facebook page or you can get on to Facebook and look up Fabric Ninja Pattern Discussion. And there are lots of people there that will help you through if I'm not available at the moment that you need it. You are also welcome to email me. You can email me at theninja at fabricninja.com. Have a wonderful day and happy sewing.